hello again and welcome to this new video and um, yeah new people please subscribe first thing first and uh, yeah welcome to my channel um, yeah today we'll look at some numerical reasoning tests and uh, yeah some people um, commented some of my videos and and uh, yeah they were saying that yeah it's very difficult uh, numbers and so on and then uh, at the same time some people some people say that the the, the the tests are very easy and I wanted to to point out two things um, two things can make the tests easier so if you have as long as much time as you want to solve them then eventually you find the solution at some point and uh, the other thing is if you have some choices to pick from it makes it somehow a bit easier but imagine if you have been given a test and you only have one let's say maybe five seconds to find the solution will you be able to do that then you'll notice that the test is not that easy after all and uh, yeah so today I decided not to give you um, any options to choose from so you find the logic and the missing number yourself okay so as usual you will first um, have one minute to look at the test and then the answer with explanations will follow right away ready go Time's up, and um, yeah, let's go and look at the answer. So, um, yeah, how easy was that? Actually, it's pretty easy once you figure out the logic behind it. So, um, yeah, in this kind of test, of course, um, you usually have to sum up numbers and see what it's the logic and in this specific case you notice that by summing up the last three columns you find the first column so the first cell here is 10 so the sum of these three is 10 39 equals to the sum of these three 19 equals to the sum of these and then here so yeah 20 so at the end here we know that we should have so here it's 14 so it's missing 6 to make it to make it uh, 20 so the answer is 6 great let's move on to the next question then so again find the the logic and in this case the two missing numbers are you ready Go.
time is up. Great. I'm sure you found this. At first you thought this was pretty easy. You just sum up these two. 7 plus 3 equals to 9 plus 1. 4 plus 2 equals to 2 plus 10. And so on. But then you get here and you have two missing numbers. And you wonder. So you have 7 here. But there are so many possibilities here to make it 7. But yeah, let me tell you there is only one option here because there is another logic vertically and that is the sum of the first two rows equals also the sum of the last two and actually it's always 11 as we see from the first two uh, from uh, uh, the first two columns okay so this plus this equal to 11 so are these sum so 3 plus 8 equals to 11, 9 plus 2 equals to 11. So, yeah, we should expect here that the sum of these two, which are also 11, equals the sum of these two, which means that we are only missing here 6 and 1. How easy did you find this test? Yeah, please tell me in the comment down below. And thank you very much for watching. Thank you for your support. And if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, this is the opportunity to do so and um, yeah by doing so you don't miss any of my coming videos and uh, you are supporting the channel to grow thank you very much and uh, i will see you next time and until then take care peace